Okay, everybody, guess who's getting ready to paint? Well, I have this cleaned off now, and it looks much better. I have some wood holes to fill in, and then I will sand and then paint. But I took the blinds down. I'm going to get rid of the mini blinds and just have curtains so that I can wash them and easily get to my windows to fix them. And you guys, y'all remember me talking about how uh, select mobile repair for my RV part of my home and uh, his name was Wade and uh, they were just crooks and they just did a bad job. Look at this. I'm going to have to, the blinds were hiding it, but this is the, all that gummy stuff. This is the kind of work they did. Didn't even care. And so I'll get that off another day. Right now I'm focusing on cleaning and painting. <laughs> okay, wood holes are filled. Not on the door frame because I'm going to paint that a different color. And that is out at my docking station, also known as my home base. And uh, that, that can of paint. And so I'll wait until I get back out there to do it. Right now, as you can see from the, the mountains out there, I am still boondocking with my friends, but the walls are uh, filled and sanded and cleaned and dry and ready for paint. Fingers crossed. I'm not the best at this. I'm learning as I go. And I just want to take this opportunity to say that my uh, inspiration and my heroes are my friends, Robin and Tracy, that I am camped with. Tracy is so artistic. Well, Robin is too, but Robin did her whole van build and that tour will be coming up on my channel by uh, watching YouTube videos. She had never used power tools or anything before and her van build is gorgeous. Wait until you see it. And I thought, dang it, if they can do it, I can do it. So thank you, Robin and Tracy. Let's see if I really can. <laughs> Another hero of mine is Frugal RV Gal because she does so much. If you have not checked out her channel, hop over and do that, especially her recent woodworking or wood carving out in the woods video. Just amazing and inspiring, and I am trying, you guys. Let's see what happens. I'm also grateful for Robert. He just taught me how to cut in on the edges before I roll. At the paint and uh, I, I fairly suck at this but his instructions were really good so we'll see how this turns out you guys but I'm having fun I certainly am putting too much paint on my brush the thing that is the hardest for me to to get on this um, um, whatever this is called on the edges I'm doing, is uh, remembering which side of the brush to wipe off and which to keep wet. I keep getting it wrong. <laughs> I got it wrong just then. The nice thing about doing this wall first is these cabinets will be painted almost a white with just a hint of gray. And this is supposed to be a gray, and I'm practicing using this back wall even though this is gonna be painted the same color. I'm practicing cutting in of course, I just messed up talking to you guys, but this is coming out to be really blue and I, I wanted it to be gray. Maybe a second coat will be more gray. Maybe it's because it's going over this horrid peach color. Fingers crossed. I guess I can always pick another color and try again. Okay, you guys, first coat is on and it looks a little like a battleship gray right now to me, but that's the first coat over that peach. So we'll see how it goes, and I've got a couple of uh, flubs to uh, fix up, but I'll uh, fix before and sand a little bit before I paint the next coat. So we'll see how it goes, but uh, I finished uh, the first coat. It took me a couple of hours, probably wouldn't have taken anybody else five minutes, but uh, I'm happy, and it looks much better than it did, and next will be the white around the frame, and then that will really look better.
Hi guys. Well, I just um, super glued my fingers together, both thumbs. Let me hold the camera here and show you. Um, that one's almost, uh, I've been biting at all the glue, but you can still see some. I was trying to get this little peg back in. When I drive, this cabinet vibrates just enough that this nail keeps coming out. And um, I found the little peg. See, it matches. It, it, this wall used to be a, teal, a turk, uh, peach color. Um, it was an experiment gone bad. But I found the little knob, and so I tried to put it back on there. And um, I super glued it, and I super glued my fingers together. And I almost thought I was going to have to run to the doctor. But uh, anyway, ready for the second coat now that I've cleaned and got that done. Guys, I thought I'd show you what happens when I want to paint. It never, it's the summer in the desert. It never rains, but yeah, it's getting ready to rain. Mm -hmm. 